going to talk about how to make a scatter plot in Google Spreadsheets. Scatter plots are used when both your independent variable, the variable that you're controlling, and the dependent variable, the variable that you're measuring, are quantitative, which means that they're both measured with numbers. So here we had an example of an experiment where an individual was measuring the height of their reflection in a mirror, both as they perceived it and as perceived by a third party as they got farther away from the mirror. So their independent variable, what they were controlling, was their distance away from the mirror, which they measured in centimeters. So this is quantitative data, how far away they were. And their dependent variable was the height of their reflection, which again is quantitative, it's measured in numbers. This is different from a qualitative measurement, which would be something that was measured as a category, like tall or short, male or female, something that falls into a discrete category instead of being a number. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your independent variable is listed first. So this first column here is my independent variable. After that, you want any columns of dependent variables. So the things I measured, I was trying to figure out, are in the columns following that. Then I'm going to highlight my data, and I'm also going to highlight my header row. So I'll highlight that all the way down. Highlighting is easy, it's just clicking and dragging. And once I've highlighted that, I'm going to click on the Graph button in Google Spreadsheets, which is right over here. This will bring me to the Chart Editor. In the Chart Editor, I want to click on the Charts tab, which lets me choose what type of chart I want. I'm trying to make a scatter plot, so I'm going to click on Scatter and select this top option that says Scatter Chart. Then I'm going to go over to Customize. So in the Customize tab, I can do things like add in titles and axes labels. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a title. So we'll call this the Size of Mirror Reflection. You always want to make sure that your title is descriptive. Then I'm going to scroll down a bit to where it says Axis. Here, this lets me choose how I want to edit both my horizontal axis, which is the x-axis, and the vertical axis, which is the y-axis. So my horizontal axis was the distance from the mirror. And I always want to make sure that I include the units. And you'll notice, as soon as I click somewhere else, the chart automatically updates. So then I, if I want to add in my y-axis title, I'll click over here, choose left vertical, and create the title. So this is going to be the height of the reflection, and again, measured in centimeters. You'll notice there are other options here. So I can choose to change the color of points. So if, say, I want the height as perceived by my subject to be green points instead of blue, I could change that. You could change the size of your points to make them smaller or bigger. But this is really all there is to it. Once I'm happy with my chart, I just hit the Insert button. And in just a moment, the chart will appear. Now, if I realize I've made a mistake, then that's easy to fix. I could just click on this button over here, this little arrow, and click Advanced Edit. And it'll take me right back to the screen I was just in. So here I can edit things again. And if I have fixed whatever problem I had, say I realized, oh no, I wanted these points to be blue instead of green, and hit update, then the chart will change. And that's really all there is to it. That's as simple as that.